Good morning, Mark. I'm still waiting to confirm information with the sergeant on scene, but the family of six who's outside who lives in the home, they tell me that a 15, 16 year old boy who comes and goes is actually in police custody right now, and that another boy around the same age is actually inside of the home, and according to police, that boy is actually armed. And as you can see, this is still a very active scene. We've been here for about an hour. Now, we are hearing, and this is according to the family, that a 71 year old woman who is on bed rest, hospice, uh, oxygen care. She is actually still inside of this home that the family actually takes turns going and staying with her to try and take care of her. And that is something that is definitely concerning for this family. We're gonna have much more on this throughout the morning as we continue to update this situation, and hopefully get some answers confirmed with someone in the police force. Reporting live on the Northeast side, Josh Gernick, KSAT 12 News. Uh, good morning, Mark. Yes, I was able to speak with the sergeant on scene finally, and he does tell me that this started with a carjacking in Kirby. There was then a police chase, which was ended at the home right over here. Now, everything else that we know is coming from the family of six who's standing outside. It's four adults, two young teenage girls who tell me that they take uh, turns taking care of a 71-year-old woman who is still inside of this home, which we understand, according to the family, that there is an armed young man still inside. They're saying that a 15, 16 year old boy who comes and goes and is not related to the family is actually in police custody right now. He is with the other young man who is inside, allegedly with a weapon right now. We have this police standoff. We've been here for a couple of hours. Good morning. I just spoke to the public information officer and he tells me that what they know is 11 p.m. on Mid Crown. There was a carjacking and then around 1 a.m. Kirby police spotted the car. A chase ensued. The driver, the suspect who did the carjacking, he then wrecked out and then ran to the home right over here. And police are telling me that this is a 15, 16 year old boy who, when they arrived, they asked him to come out. He did. They are thinking that they can charge him with evading arrest, uh, amongst other charges, but that there's another young man still inside who is with two other people. That's creating this standoff situation. They don't believe this is a hostage situation, that one of the people inside is a 71-year-old woman who is uh, bed rest, on bed rest and in hospice care and also on an oxygen mask, and so she cannot come out. They're in contact with her, making sure she is okay, but that there's a third person, they don't know anything about that one, and that she, uh, he or she could actually come out on their own if they wanted to, but that they're not. This is just a very uh, complicated situation, really. There's actually a family of six outside right now that I've been chatting with this entire morning. They say that they all live in this house uh, from time to time as they take care of the elderly 71-year-old uh, women, that they don't know the young man who actually uh, ran to this home not well, that he comes from time to time, that he has nowhere to go, and uh, that he brought the other person who is inside right now. I'm going to keep you updated throughout the entire morning as we learn more details and as we just get together and uh, bring it to you what exactly happened here. Reporting live on the northeast side, Josh Gernick, KSAT 12 News. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Mark. We have two individuals, both of them uh, believed to be juveniles, in police custody right now. And I actually watched as uh, the East Patrol walked inside of the home in question right over there, got the young man and brought him out without incident. The uh, family who lives in the home, or at least stays there right now, as they take care of an elderly woman, yelling at him, obviously angry that this young man caused all of this, or allegedly caused all of this. So this is what we know as of right now. SAPD says there was a carjacking at gunpoint around 11 p.m. on Mid-Crown. At 1 a.m., Kirby police spotted the stolen vehicle. There was a car chase. The suspect wrecked out. There was a foot chase. The suspect then ran inside the home on Sunrise Creek Drive. Now, that suspect is not the one who was involved in the standoff. This young man was inside. Police arrived, demanded he come out. He then did, but they, uh, they then had this second young man, and they don't know how they're connected, who was remaining inside. Now, for that first young man, they have enough to charge him with evading arrest and possession of a stolen vehicle. Uh, back to the standoff, he was inside there with a 71-year-old woman on bed rest and another person. The 71-year-old couldn't leave, but the other person decided not to. So we were not having a hostage situation. Back to them getting him out, 6.15 a.m., East Patrol went inside, no incident. A family of six who was staying outside here during all of this, they were telling me that from time to time they'll take in young people who don't have anywhere to go. That's what this situation was with the young man who allegedly did the carjack and say they're not going to do this anymore. We're going to have a full report in the noon hour on this, so 
of course, stay tuned to KSAT uh, 12 and then also online for more updates. Reporting live on the northeast side, Josh Gernick, KSAT 12 News. Good morning. I'm Josh Kernick reporting live on the northeast side. A standoff is over, and I just spoke with police after they walked out with a young man who had them at bay for about three and a half hours. They tell me they did not find a weapon on him, that he was actually hiding behind a bathroom door, and that no one is hurt. The 71 year old bedridden woman inside, she is okay. And the third person, well, that family member is actually asleep inside of the garage. Right now, they're trying to figure out how the person they just arrested is connected to an earlier carjacking that uh, Kirby police eventually found. Reporting live, Josh Gernick, KSAT 12 News. Good morning, I'm Katrina Weber. Gunshots did the job of a very scary alarm clock. For that that's a manifestation of a bipartisan approach to this issue, which is...